where the natural mystery unit is on the trail of a bizarre killer. A strange predator lurks in the Australian bush. It watches livestock and wild animals alike. What it is, no one knows. There are no native species in existence today that can do this kind of damage. Sometimes just the face and the throat have been eaten. It's almost prehistoric what they do. An extinct creature back from beyond the grave. When you get that many sightings, you just can't discredit and say it's not here. The scream, it's like somebody having their throat cut. Part kangaroo and part dog. And as it ran off, you could see it was a thylacine. Were you ever afraid? There are stranger things in heaven and earth. And you're about to see one of them. Just be careful. Also known as the Tasmanian tiger or Tasmanian wolf, the thylacine is one of nature's most puzzling creatures. Wolf or tiger it isn't but rather in its time, the world's largest meat-eating marsupial. More closely related to the kangaroo than anything else. Officially, it's extinct. Unofficially, the thylacine remains one of the animal kingdom's greatest mysteries. I'm sending Daniel and Natalie to southwest Australia. Farmers here claim that a brutal predator has been killing their livestock. Could it be the thylacine? We've had, we've had reports of strange sounds coming out of the bush around here. And some really weird kills too. Lungs removed, heart, kidneys eaten. Sometimes just the face and the throat have been eaten. <laughs> Historical records say that the thylacine killed in much the same way as has been reported by farmers in this area. Whilst wild dogs seem the most logical explanation, dogs tend to rip and tear into their prey, while the thylacine was known for its specialised hunting and killing techniques. This is actually really typical of the countryside in the southwest of Western Australia. As you can see, open pasture lands. It's very dry at the moment because we're in the middle of a dry season. And this leads up to dry woodland bordering the pasture land. Thylacines once roamed all over Australia. The textbooks say that they vanished from the mainland around 3,000 years ago. On the island state of Tasmania, the last known thylacine died in a zoo around the 1930s. Despite their alleged extinction, there have been thousands upon thousands of reports all over Australia of sightings. And although most scientists actually scoff at the idea, can we really ignore all of these sightings? And if it is still out there, the ongoing destruction of the creature's habitat and not taking these sightings seriously, we could once again let the animal slip into the pages of history. <laughs>